Our first reading from Genesis. Israel loved Joseph more than all his other sons. He was the son of his old age. And he had a coat with long sleeves made for him. But his brother, seeing how his father loved him more than all other sons, came to hate him so much they could not say a civil word to him. His brothers hated him. They were jealous. Many families today are not at peace with one another. Families not talking to each other, not greeting one another, not visiting one another, not caring about one another. There are families like that. Families that are not on good terms with each other. Why does this happen? Why do we allow this anger and jealousy come between us in our families? Sometimes it's over property. Sometimes it's over wills and over houses and land. And there's jealousy challenging the wills all sorts and they don't talk to each other they don't talk why does that happen all from the same womb brought up in the same way and now they don't talk to one another and jealous of one another why does that happen Let's pray to God for happy homes. For those homes where people are happy and talking to each other, forgiving one another, not angry with each other. I've seen funerals here, and the body is down the center. One part of the family is on this side. The other part is on the other side. And the other side and this side are not talking to each other. Here in our Catholic Church of Christ the King. Sad. Shouldn't happen. Shouldn't happen. I'm visiting this old lady in Dome. Very sick, can't walk. Just being discharged from hospital. She has a daughter, age 31, married. Daughter doesn't care about her. She saw some pictures on the media where people were giving food to the mother. That's when she went to visit the mother. Isn't that disgraceful? Isn't it disgraceful? And this mother has a mentally handicapped child who cannot take care of the mother, can't even take care of herself. I'm trying to get her into a school and I can't get her into a school. She roams around. Is this the homes we talk about? Is this the homes we see? Let's pray during this mass for happy homes, loving homes, forgiving homes. The father will forgive his sons. The sons will forgive their father. The daughters will forgive their mother for various things that have been done. We don't want to be angry with each other, fighting one another, insulting one another. We don't want to do that. You stay in one side of the coffin, we'll stay on the other, and no talking. It's wrong. In the Catholic Church, it's wrong. And we don't want that. May God help us. Like Joseph in today's reading. Joseph forgave his brothers. He forgave them. When they came to him for food, and there was a famine in their home country, he didn't deny them. He gave them food and looked after them. He took care of his own brothers. He forgave them. He could have taken revenge and been angry with them. 
but he didn't. May the Lord bless our hearts to have happy homes, forgiving homes, and loving homes. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Now we'll have our Lenten collection for the poor.